In this week's episode 4 of Mods for Noobs, we're continuing work on the Kia Serato 2006 and with Ruben being busy in the afternoon, I decided trying my hand at spray painting my own front lip but ended up in a minor catastrophe when I realized I'd used the wrong grit sandpaper. So I called Ruben down to help me to try to rectify the situation and thankfully he was free to pop by. So right now we are at uh park here and then after spraying on the uh, first coat of the spray paint we realized that some areas were still pretty rough. Now Ruben is out here helping me to actually uh, smoothen some areas and then we're gonna do another coat. So right now Ruben is uh, sanding down so what actually happened Ruben? Why was it why is it why do we need to actually sand it down one more time? Okay because simply when you are touching up on your paintwork and you use a coarse fine paper, it's better to just concentrate on the immediate area where you want to... Where it's damaged, then use a coarse sand paper. Yes, just on the immediate area. Then for the surrounding area, you can switch to medium and then to fine, so that it will be a nice smooth finish. If you use a coarse uh, paper for large general areas like this, this is what you get. You get deep gouges in your paintwork, which is very, very obvious. Even if I, if you use your finger or your fingernail, you, you can hear the scraping sound because of all the deep cuts. So the bottom line is, you only use a coarse sandpaper on the da damaged areas. For yeah. example, like this damaged area. Yeah. yeah. A specific. A, let's say your like previously you had a damage at your corner. I only use the coarse for just that corner to grind it down a bit. I use medium and fine to make it smooth. So right now we just... You can see yeah, very you clearly the shitty areas now with the light from my iPhone. It's actually... This part is still very shitty. But this part is very nice. The ribbon set now using the medium vet sandpaper. So before applying the second layer of spray paint, Ruben actually tests out on the small area which he just sanded down in order to see if we require more than two layers of spray paint. I see so much. One chunk down there. One. Now we're attempting the second layer and you can see that we actually use more uh, masking with tape and paper. The scratch marks are still quite visible. Eh? Very because it's very deep. See all the chunky chunks there. It's not clear. Right now looks good. Uh, we actually sand it down a lot more, and also we uh, Ruben actually sprayed on quite a good amount to cover the scratches. So after deciding that a second layer of spray paint would be ample to cover the scratches, more or less, Ruben continued spray painting the remainder of the front lips second coating. So any tips or any secrets to having a good spray? Shake well before you before you squirt it. Eh? Because it's a liquid, it's an aerosol. If you concentrate it on an area like this, see? if I do this, see? yeah. La. So yeah. sometimes we like spray too hard and then the area. You have to go too. fast. Don't press it down so much, is it? No, I'm pressing full. Mm, okay. But it's just that you need to you need to glide it over like this. You're not supposed to spray on the spot. You're supposed to just let it fall onto the area. What? So heading for the last uh, area on the car. 
locals be thinking that we're doing something illegal in the middle of the night. Hey, whose car is that? <laughs> you just go around spray painting other people's cars. And here's a quick look at my front lip after completing the second layer of spray paint. I guess it turned out looking pretty decent and a not too shabby job after all. So join us on our next episode 5 where I apply a lacquer coating to our new paint job to give it a shine as well as some plastic dip.